Today, I'm going to show you how to make this with this. This helps it stay upright. So, let's get into the process. Hopefully, Dad likes it. As I'm doing this, it's pinching on the blade because it's got the length now. So when I'm trying to cut it, it's really hard to cut it. So I'm gonna put a wedge in the top here to open it back up again. Actually, I'm just gonna use this old ax head to back, just split the rest open. Split it. Now I'm going to cut it to the same dimensions as this. So I'm going to measure across here and across here. And hopefully, I don't need to cut another one of these because it takes a very long time to cut and uh, it's tiring. And guess what? I do need to cut another one. So I've decided finish the cut off I'm just gonna split it I've pretty much cut it all so it'll only just be a little split so there's not much chance for splintering because I might want to use the other half now so right now I'm just cutting four pieces so I can glue the four pieces up with the pine pieces and it can make a really nice pattern. So now I am measuring some pine pieces with another picture frame. I've now got all the pieces cut, now I'm going to cut them all in half and then I'm going to put these in the half. It's a bit hard to explain, let's watch me do it. That look is me figuring out some mass sums to make a half of the piece of wood. Yes, I got my mask correct. These fit together perfectly. So, let's glue all the pieces onto this. So while I'm gluing up all these pieces, I have some very good news to share with you. I am going to get a shed quite soon. It's going to be a proper shed and I'm going to get a concrete out and then this shed will be up. They are officially all glued up and dry. Now we get to go to the farm part. I'm going to have to cut angles on here. I remember a time when I was making a picture frame, I cut an angle here and then I cut the exactly the same angle there and I couldn't use the piece. So I need a room to cut different angles on each side. So I'm going to show you how to cut those angles. So basically how you do it, well first you blow away all the dust. <sighs> Firstly how you do it, see how there's all these different numbers? You want it to be in the 45 degree. Right, it's on 90 degrees. So you hold this and pull it up. And then you pull. And then it should go to 45. See how it just clicked in just then? And as I was doing this, I made the same mistake as I told you not to do. 
by cutting the same angle on each side. Luckily, I managed, I didn't cut through the whole thing and rescued it. And that basically shows that we all make mistakes. So I've got all the angles cut now, but first I'm gonna glue all the things frame together and then we'll address the backing. So let's glue it all up together. I just need to quickly get the glue. So I've got it all glued up. Now let's wait for this to dry. And while I'm waiting for this to dry, because my dad's birthday tomorrow, I really need to hurry. Is I'm gonna get the underside there and then make little things so it can rest up like this and not do this. So I'll um, get a piece of plywood and then measure the width of this out. So I've got the piece, I popped it on. It's not like exactly accurate. It's quite a bit bigger, but that's fine because I'll cut it down to the line. Now I'm gonna wait for this to dry. So I'm making the stand now. And now I'm cutting out some fabric so it can stand upright and be a mini mechanism because I don't want to buy one from the shops. Welcome to Samuel's Custom Sewing Classes where you learn how to sew horribly. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the project. So I've run into a big problem. I left it out in the sun and see how you can see underneath it now, the plywood warped. So I'm going to cut it down to size and then put it back in the sun with some bricks on it and then hopefully it goes back and then I'm going to put it back in the shape with the bricks on it so hopefully it cools down again in the shape. I need to quickly cut it before it totally stays in this position. So I've got the crack figured out, now I'm just going to sand it. As you can see I've already started sanding, I want to keep on sanding. Some people have shortages of um, things and they lose things and the things that our family loses is thongs. So that's why I'm wearing my sister's thongs because I don't know where mine are. After a lot of touch-ups and sanding and things like that, I finally got it ready to varnish. So, let's varnish it. Okay, here it is, all varnished. Now I just need to wait for the varnish smell to go away and then I can give it to Daddy. Hopefully he likes it. So that will wrap up today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the notification button. It helps me to make better content.